Welcome to slide five, the first political parties. The first political parties. Two of the members of Washington's cabinet, Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson, had many disagreements. Hamilton, the Secretary of the Treasury, believed in a powerful national government. He thought the country needed a strong economy based on trade and industry. Thomas Jefferson, on the other hand, believed the economy should be based on farming. He did not think the national government should be allowed to become too powerful. He worried that such a powerful government might take away people's rights. The followers of Jefferson and Hamilton became the country's first political parties. A political party is a group of people who have the same beliefs about government. Members of a political party work to elect their candidates to government offices. Hamilton's followers were called the Federalists, and Jefferson's party became known as the Democratic Republicans. George Washington and some of the other early leaders opposed political parties. Washington thought they were harmful. He wanted people in his cabinet to work together as a united government. He even published a speech in which he warned against the baneful, harmful effects of the spirit of pure party. The caption for the picture is George Washington with his first cabinet. From left to right, Washington, Knox, Hamilton, Jefferson, and Randolph. If you notice the graphic organizer to the right side of your slide looks at the first political parties and what they believed in. We know that Alexander Hamilton considered himself a Federalist, wanted a strong national economy. He wanted the economy to be based on trade and factories. He also came up with the idea for a national bank. He supported the idea and thought it would help the nation grow. On the other side is Thomas Jefferson. He was considered a Democratic Republican. These terms may not mean anything to you right now because they will change several times throughout our nation's history. Thomas Jefferson wanted our, the nation's economy to be based on farming and small crafts. He opposed the idea of a national bank and he thought the government did not have the right to create it. It wasn't written in the Constitution that way. And remember George Washington's idea? He didn't want political parties at all. He thought they were going to be bad for the nation and he really wanted people to learn to work together. On your worksheet, you will see that you have the basis for the graphic organizer. Please fill out the graphic organizer on your worksheet to the best of your ability to discuss the ideas of Hamilton and Jefferson.